Okay, so it's raining here, but a very interesting question was asked that in raised ICP, we use mannitol also, we use repotent saline also, and we use glycerol oil also. But at times there comes a combination in, the, in which there is a mannitol also and glycerol combination. So mannitol and glycerol combination. So does this mannitol and glycerol combination is better than repotent saline or better than mannitol uh, if used in uh, raised ICP? So as such, if you will see the guidelines, there is no nothing such like that in which they say that the combination of mannitol and glycerol in a single bottle, which the combination comes in the uh, market, is more helpful than that. But in 2018 or 19, there was a RCT small, very small study was there. I think it was an RCT, but very small uh, number of patients were there. And in that, they found that because glycerol is also an uh, hyperosmotic agent and it, it prevents the rebound edema in the brain when we are tapering mannitol. So the combination is a little slightly better than using mannitol uh, singly. And comparable to 3% saline, it is means hypertonic saline, it is comparable. So 3% saline or hypertonic saline and mannitol and glycerol combination are more or less equal in preventing the rebound uh, uh, edema in the brain as compared to mannitol per se. But if you go by the guidelines uh, in the text which is written, it is either hypertonic saline or mannitol singly. Nothing is mentioned regarding the combination of uh, mannitol and glycerol, which comes in the market. So thank you for asking. Do read more about it.